In this video, we will investigate whether the position operator and the momentum operator really are Hermitian operators. While the position operator looks fine, the imaginary unit i in the definition of the momentum operator seems a bit suspicious. After a complex conjugation, this i will become a minus i. So is the momentum operator really a Hermitian operator? First of all, let us recall the definition of a Hermitian operator. If some operator A is a Hermitian operator, then A is the same as A dagger. And A dagger is the adjoint of A, which is defined like this. So if A equals A dagger, we can also write this term as psi A phi. In order to investigate whether the position operator and the momentum operator are Hermitian operators, we will now focus on these two terms here and check whether they are really equal. First, the position operator x. The expression psi x phi can be simply written in terms of an integral like this. However, for the complex conjugate of phi x psi, we have to perform a complex conjugation on each term. After doing that, we get the same expression again and have thereby verified that the position operator x is a Hermitian operator. So what about the momentum operator? In the position space representation, p can be expressed as minus i h bar d over dx. Let's find out if this i causes any problems. First, psi p phi can again be easily written in terms of an integral expression. And for phi p psi complex conjugated, we have to put the whole integral under a complex conjugation. After performing this complex conjugation, where we have to add a minus due to the imaginary unit, we notice that the derivative acts on the wrong function. In order to move the derivative around, we can perform a partial integration. The first term vanishes, since we have to evaluate the wave functions at infinity, and the usual boundary condition for wave functions is that they vanish at infinity. So only the second term remains. Since we pick up another minus sign from the partial integration, we can cancel the two minus signs that we have collected and get the same expression as before. So the momentum operator is indeed a Hermitian operator. Even though the i inside the position space representation of the momentum operator looks suspicious, we do not need to worry since we also pick up a minus sign from the partial integration. And this partial integration is necessary to move the derivative around from one wave function to the other wave function. So to summarize, both x and p are Hermitian operators and we don't have to worry about the imaginary unit in the definition of p. And that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching.